Welcome to digitalconstructive.com and in this video we're going to be talking about the C61D65 weatherization contractor license. Now a weatherization and energy conservation contractor installs, removes, modifies, or repairs or provides maintenance services for energy conservation products limited to the following. Door and window weather stripping, caulking, water heater pipe wrap, water heater blankets, insulating gaskets for electrical outlet covers, shade screens, shutters, storm windows, tinted window film, residential water flow restricting devices installed onto existing fixtures. And this does not include insulation, glazing, or heating, ventilation, and air conditioning work. And that's a definition straight from the CSLB website. And the CSLB is the Contractor's State License Board. So essentially, the C61D65 weatherization license includes all of the following different areas of expertise. It can include weather stripping, caulking and joint sealant, conservation services, energy efficiency and coating systems, energy upgrades and restoration, pipe insulation, water saving solutions, window tech and weatherization, window tinting, weatherproofing, environmental building services, energy solutions, crack repairs, leak analysis and repairs, door and window gaskets, water audits and system analysis, incentive and rebate capture services are often offered by companies that hold this license, water consumption tracking, faucet maintenance and service, and cost estimation, obviously. So there's a lot of different services that can be offered if you get this license. Um, now, the D65 license essentially is a requirement if you're offering any of those services. So anytime you're bidding on a project over $500, that means you have to have the D65 weatherization contractor license. Now, how long does it take to get a California contractor license? Typically, it's an average time frame of about 90 days. You can expect a six to eight week application processing time and then another three to four weeks before you go and take an exam. Now, the basic requirements to get licensed in California are that you have to be at least 18 years of age to apply. You've got to have a valid driver's license or USAID. You'll need a social security or I-10 number, and you can't currently be on probation or parole. Experience requirements are that you have at least four years full-time journey level experience that has to be within the last 10 years. You've got to have somebody that can sign off on that experience, and then you've got to be able to submit documentation just in case the CSLB asks to see proof of your experience. Now, who could you use to sign off on that experience? You could use a licensed general contractor. You could use a D65 license holder. You could use a foreman or supervisor a fellow journeyman or employee, and remember, they have to be within the last 10 years. Or in some cases, you can even use a client or business associate. Now, a background check. Everybody has to do a background check when they apply for a California contractor license. Everybody's got to do live scanner fingerprinting. Be honest on the application. If your charges don't have anything to do with fraud, forgery, or embezzlement, you should be okay, but be ready to submit court documents to the CSLB if they ask to see proof. Now, what's on the contractor license exam? Since the weatherization license falls under the C61 limited specialty classification, you're only going to take one exam. That's going to be 115 questions covering contractor license law. You'll have three hours to complete the exam. It's a multiple choice test. It's going to be done on site on a computer, and you can bring a translator if you qualify. Now, the CSLB Law and Business Exam covers business organization. It covers business finances, employment requirements, bonds, insurance, and liens, contract requirements and execution, licensing requirements, safety, and also public works. Now, you'll definitely want to be prepared for this test. There's all kinds of curveballs that are going to be on the exam, all kinds of math questions, uh, really obscure questions about state agencies, contract requirements, um, your best bet is to prepare. We've got tons of study guides and practice exams that you can find uh, in the links below in the description of this video. Now, after you pass the exam, you'll get your results immediately. Typically, if you do fail, you can retake the exam within about two to three weeks. And once you pay your license activation and provide a contractor bond number, the CSLB will send your contractor license in the mail in about two to three weeks. Now, the costs for getting a contractor license in California are you're going to pay a state application fee, you'll pay a license activation fee, and then a renewal fee every two years, you'll pay for the cost of fingerprinting, and then you'll provide a contractor bond number. 
Now, for the most up-to-date costs uh, that it costs right now to apply to the CSLB, we've got a separate video that you'll see appear at the end of this one, and I recommend you watch that. Just want to thank you for watching. For additional information about this license, we've got a complete guide that breaks everything down uh, on our website. And for additional information on bonding, trade skills, and more, check out the rest of our channel. Like and subscribe. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments. But again, this is digitalconstructive.com, and thanks again for watching.